No. That was dirty. I might have won at the game. Oh my yeah, well, I don't just won us the game. Oh, get okay, pooped on. Oh my god, bro. What the hell? What was that? Last like aim assist there. What's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to more X Defying, you guys. So for the last couple of days and ever since like the season one came out, man, I've been low-key kind of grinding this game a lot. As you guys can see, I am like tier 29 and I also have the new AR, which is supposed to feel like the M4, but with more recoil. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it out. So also I was hoping that we were gonna get some double XP this weekend, but it's Friday today and I'm, there's no double XP with this uh, this week, man. But yeah, I've been popping a lot of like battle pass boosters, so that's why I'm like gearing up pretty fast. And I was hoping there was gonna be double XP because I have like I have like a bunch of double weapon XP boosters, hoping for the fact that we were gonna get a double XP weekend again. But sadly, that's not the case for this weekend, I guess. If you guys saw like my last video, first of all. I just want to appreciate you guys for supporting my recent video that I uploaded. You guys seem to enjoy the, that type of style of video. So I'm thinking of making it into a series of like how much I can rank up weapons in one hour, which sucks because I was hoping it was going to be another double XP weekend. And so, yeah, I was just trying to use a different gun and, you know, with another weapon, maybe even try like the shotguns or even go through them. Just go for my pistols as well, because some of the pistols are pretty OP. Like the M1911 right here takes like three shots to kill somebody in this game, dude. But yeah, ever since the new season came out, I've been grinding the ACR a lot and uh, I'm pretty close on locking the titanium azure which is i i i really like how this camo looks but i'm trying to get the prisma man i really like how this camo is a reactive camo it gives me a lot of black ops 4 vibes rainbow diamond camo which is super cool dude i hope for later seasons they bring a lot more cooler like camo just like this I think it would just make the game a lot more interesting, something to grind for each season, you know? But yeah, after I'm done editing this video, I'm probably gonna grind the crap out of this weapon right now and just get the Titanium Prisma and probably make a video of it. If you guys enjoyed this type of style of content, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. This Rafa skin is so cool too, dude. I like, I like the face mask. I like Rafa as a character. Rafa is one of my favorite characters, dude. I also want to use Desic a lot because not only the spider bot is... The spider bot just broke x defiant this thing is broken this thing is this thing actually got a secret buff so i want to make a video about this but not about the spider bot but about its other ability and uh this is the new faction for the season with gsk i actually got this i guess starter pack skin looks pretty cool the faction itself um uh, it's an okay faction i think the ultra is kind of the ultra is a hit or miss i don't know the ultra is okay i do really like the abilities i do like the shock wire i do like the trophy system thank god it's not overpowered just like this freaking I hate the spider bot so much in this game, man. Like, now you can't counter it. You can't shoot it when it's latched onto your face. From what I heard, they're going to make it into a quick time event. The only way I can compare it is when, like, in Black Ops 4. And sorry if I'm referencing Black Ops 4 a lot, but Black Ops 4 was my favorite Call of Duty game. Black Ops 4 is top three in my Call of Duty, like, like Mount Rushmore, dude. But yeah, there was a character in Black Ops 4. His name is Prophet. One of his abilities, it kind of looked like a, a hoverboard. And basically, it did exactly what the spider bot did. But one of the ways you can counter the secret mine was a quick time action. You had to press a button 
that should open the screen perfectly and that will kind of counter the seeker mine so from what i heard the xdefiant developers are working on a quick time event which i'm pretty excited to hear because i am so annoyed of these dead sec users and using the spider bot because it's getting out of hand also they should limit the factions that you can use in the match in this game i've been playing against a whole team of like phantoms and using barriers and it's just so, so annoying there should be like a faction balance update or something i don't know but yeah in today's video we're gonna be going over my settings keep in mind i'm in pc right now so feel a bit consistent nes behavior hold ads sensitivity transition i keep it at instant i used to have it a blend but i just i just feel like cracked when i have it on instant i don't know about you guys but having this thing on instant feels it feels nice melee during ads yeah i keep this on because i'd say if like if i'm going in a doorway and somebody just managed to pop out as i'm aiming in i can just do that if we turn it off i don't think you could do it yeah see I'm, I'm i'm smashing my freaking melee button it's not working so this is really important when like you're like like shooting somebody and then you you can't you can't punch them you can't shot punch so i like to keep this on aiming interrupts reload i like to keep this on as well just because it gives me another option on how i can like reload canceled for example let me reload switch my weapons to cancel it or i can aim in again see it cancel it so it gives me a different options i could do either switch weapons to cancel my reload or just aim in arch behavior toggle sprint behavior tap auto sprint on i like to keep it on five sprint interrupts reload is off just because i got a triple kill and i got 19 bullets in my magazine and then i get shot from the back and then this allows me to get to cover pretty quickly without you know my reload canceling and then i'm fully reloading now and i can just jump around the corner and just shoot the guy who was shooting at my back a sprint interrupt reload i keep it off slide behavior tap auto reload weapon auto switch weapon i like to keep these off auto grab ledge off walk behavior hold scoreboard behavior hold adjust hud limits i like to keep it zero zero just because like i don't have to you know it's easier for my eyes to see the mini map as well and a lot of competitive players just keep this at zero zero as well challenge notifications i keep it at completion only damage numbers i used to have this on but i turned it off just because i feel like the numbers were in my way of my shots enemy health bars on mini map rotation off meters off 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 now controller now this is the my controller settings i have skill thumb brawler flip the reason why is because i am a bumper jumper tactical player that's the name of the settings in, in the call of duty bumper jumper tactical flipped i always aim down my l1 and shoot with my r1 always have been always that's how that's the way i started playing fps i jump with my l2 and i melee with circle and i crush with r3 now hear me out x defined developers i wish there was another setting i wish there was another setting where you can crouch with r2 i know there was another game in call of duty i'm not sure which one it was maybe it was the recent modern warfare titles you know you can like crouch with r2 i was hoping for the game to have this setting but this is what i have to work with eventually i'll get a new controller with paddles in the back but this this works for me for right now thick layout default aim assist standard aim assist strength i keep it at two aim response curve i keep it at linear right now i used to have it at reverse s curve but but with linear i feel like i i snap onto players a lot more easier horizontal sensitivity i keep it at 93 my vertical at 47 ads sensitivity i keep it at 37 for my low zoom and a 38 for my high zoom even though i can go a little higher my high zoom dead zone left stick at a five right stick at a five acceleration speed multiplier at 1.73 off 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 so one more thing for my language and accessibility i like to keep my color blind mode at how do we even say this dude deuteranopia i like to keep this at deuteranopia just because my enemies show the color yellow and also because kind of goes with theme with my youtube channel the whole yellow it's a lot easier to spot enemies with this uh with this color blind mode flashbang effect i like to keep it dark just because when i'm playing late at night and then i get hit with a freaking white screen dude like i don't want that so these are my settings for season one as of right now and next defiant but yeah let me know what you guys think about my settings if you guys have any questions just comment down below i'll i try my best to respond to your guys like comments down below oh my god oh my god that was dirty
No. Where I just beat that man down. Oh my god. This ACR just too good. He spams like a SMG. The power of freaking AR, dude. 6K, dude. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You know what you guys think about season one of X Defiant. I don't know. I just want to hear what you guys are thinking. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe, man. And I'll talk to you guys later in the next video. But remember, stay rad.